when they shut down, the season was getting crazy for the Nets. You know, a lot of things right. were going that way. So when it shut down, it was kind of good to take a step back and just recalibrate. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, after a while, you start itching to get the sweat going. You know, the Nets, right. you're lucky enough to be able to have a bike and some weights in our apartment. So I was able to be able to stay in shape during that. And then when voluntary workouts started coming back, I was in the gym Monday through Friday. I had an opportunity to go home because MBPA was contacting me for for a chance to go home, but I decided to stay home, to stay in Brooklyn, and uh, just try to try to get better as, as much as possible. You know, trying to gain weight, uh, trying to get stronger. You know, home. And then when the practice facility was open, I was I was the first in the gym. You know, trying to get uh, Jacques just attention to get him to know that I'm that I'm ready for for whatever. whatever. First, I was calling my family a lot. Um, then I start reading. Uh, JV Jack gave us like a book to read, so I t- started read that. Uh, I had other books to do, other books to read. Um, obviously Netflix too, like a bunch of movies. Um, I start cooking a lot, uh, and I start also uh, learning Spanish. So that was the big purpose and the big like. Um, the big topics. I think early on, so my mom uh, had been staying with me um, because she uh, was diagnosed with cancer earlier in November. So she was doing a lot of her treatments here at at Will Cornell. And, uh, you know, I was just obviously a little worried to be around her um, when we initially came back from California, just given, you know, the uncertainties around Corona and then how it affects uh, people with compromised immune system. So for me, that would definitely probably be the, the worst period. Obviously, thankfully, she uh, is um, doing well from a health standpoint right now, but that was probably my biggest concern and the worst period for me was just having to, to worry about uh, all that initially. I have been, like, right now I'm wearing gloves. Uh, and so I've come to a, a point in my life where uh, things have become a part of the way I operate on a daily basis. Uh, I'm in an auxiliary office right now and the door is closed, so I got my mask off. And so normally I'd have my mask on. So uh, I've educated myself in doing my part uh, of trying to get this thing pulled off. Uh, And I think that's a heck of a challenge uh, for us as an organization that I'm a part of and, and the bigger community in the NBA.